This program brought to you by the Marble Effect Bathroom Wear Factory, the Vanity Unit and Spa Pool Specialists. Welcome to The Tough Guys. Oh, it's a fabulous movie tonight, The Roaring Twenties. Aren't you looking forward to it? But before I talk about The Roaring Twenties, I do have something to show you. First of all, these are our two movies tomorrow night, both of them based on stories by Ernest Hemingway. The Killers with Ava Gardner, Burt Lancaster. This is a film that introduced Burt Lancaster to movie audiences all over the world. Terrific movie, the only film that Hemingway liked based on one of his stories. Yes, that's true. Well, that was produced by Mark Hellinger, who produced The Roaring Twenties, and our associate feature tomorrow night is The Snows of Kilimanjaro, with Gregory Peck, Ava Gardner again, and Susan Haywood. It's a great night tomorrow night, and something rather special as well tomorrow night with that program. I'll be announcing the winners of our Gone with the Wind competition. So make sure you're there tomorrow night to find out if it's you who has won either one of those three packs of Gone with the Wind and the making of a legend Gone with the Wind, or one of the 25 cassettes from the Bill Collins movie collection. We shall have more to say about that tomorrow night. Right now, The Roaring Twenties is the name of the game. Now, there's a foreword to the film. Read it, every word. It's signed by Mark Hellinger, a journalist who became a movie producer, a wonderful man, very much loved by all who came near him. He was a great movie producer, and someone even said, how come journalists are so great as movie producers? There's something about them that makes them just so right for the job. Well, at the beginning, he makes a point about the nature of the story of the Roaring Twenties. And I quote, bitter or sweet, most memories become precious as the years move on. How true. Think of your memories of the, your own past life. They're colored now, they're not quite true. And neither is the story of the film. It's colored with the, our, our, our needs, our desires, what we want the past to be like. And he says, the film is a memory. So don't judge it and say, oh, that's not realistic. It's not meant to be. It's a memory of the past of a past where there was prohibition, life was tough, post-World War I. I love the film. Look, so many people worked on the script. You'll see three names, Robert Lord. No, you won't see Robert Lord's name, but he worked on it. Niven Bush, who wrote Jewel in the Sun. Howard Koch was involved. John Huston worked on the script, the, as well as the ones you'll see on the credits. And Donald Siegel directed the opening montage that gets the movie going with a great deal of pace and, and vigor. Now, Let's look at a few shots from The Roaring Twenties. First of all, let's make it clear this is the story of three men, played by James Cagney, Humphrey Bogart, and Geoffrey Lynn. Three interesting contrasts there. Geoffrey Lynn, perhaps a little bit more subsidiary than the other two, but nevertheless, he makes his mark. I like the actor, he does well. Remember seeing him in Underground some weeks ago? That was a very good film, and he was fine in it. In our next shot from The Roaring Twenties, you see Humphrey Bogart with James Cagney. Now, this appears quite at the beginning, of, near the beginning of the film. And may I say the film has been colorized. If you don't like it in color, just turn it into black and white. You can have it either way. Humphrey Bogart says, in that particular sequence of the film, one of the most extraordinary lines he ever uttered on the screen. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Just to hear him say that will perhaps make your night. In our next shot from the Roaring Twenties, we have James Cagney with two rather special ladies. On the left, Priscilla Lane, his co-star, and I am thinking that their story was inspired by the story of Marty the Gimp Snyder and Ruth Etting, played, of course, in Love Me or Leave Me by James Cagney and Doris Day. On the other side, Gladys George, a fabulous performer. She died in the 1950s, very sadly, but somehow every moment she is on the screen, the movie takes on a special emotional push. And I love her, and I'm sure you'll enjoy her singing a shanty in old shanty town. By the way, the music's great in the film, Melancholy Baby, It Had to Be You, and of course, Shanty in Old Shanty Town. In our next shot from The Roaring Twenties, I'd like to point somebody else out. Frank McHugh, often in the supporting cast of Warner's Pictures, and very popular, very well liked by those he worked with. Frank McHugh, you may remember, if your memory of television series is good, was with Bing Crosby and Bing Crosby's television series. In fact, he made the television series more entertaining than perhaps it deserved to be. The Roaring Twenties, has a lot of good things in it. It's got a good script, wonderful people, and a great musical score. Directed by Raoul Walsh, and it leads to an ending which is unforgettable. What more could you ask for late on a Friday night? I hope you'll enjoy The Roaring Twenties.